It's that simple cycle. By the way, she could actually take that email that she got and add something onto it. Thanks a lot. Don't have chocolate. Is German chocolate okay? And it most definitely is, by the way. And she'll send that out. It'll get stored on this email server, waiting for Bob to check his emails. And the cycle goes back and forth. But it's important to know that there's someone in the middle here that acts as a repository for these mail messages to just sit and wait until they're needed or called for, requested. There you go. That is a basic email system. Here's a couple of additional notes about these protocols for sending electronic mail, protocols for sending email and how they work. You can see from this email server, there could be a couple of different things you do with the messages that are in the bucket. When Sue, for example, checks to see if she has any messages, and there is in fact that original message about the chocolate cake from Bob sitting there, once the email server receives the request from Sue for that email and sends it back to her and knows that she received it, do they delete it from the computer or not? Do they remove it from the email server or not? That's one key difference between the various protocols there are for sending electronic mail. And there are a few different protocols.